hi this is DC here welcome to this video on using ACR 38U i1 reader writer so this device is uh, made by a company called ACS advanced car systems limited so I'll be covering the following things in this uh, video we're going to look into the product page in the manufacturer website and I'm going to compare this device with uh, ACR39U and ACR1281U. I'm going to show you how to read and write the SLE 4442 or 5542 and SLE 4428 tags and also few I2C memory cards from uh, Atmel, so which are referred to as 8024. C zero XX and so I'm also going to make more videos using this uh, device and the future videos will be on how to read and write the following text it's uh, 80 88 SC 102 and 153 and uh, 8888 SC1608 these tags are you know not easily available to buy and if you want to buy them you have to buy in a pack of a uh, hundred minimum and I'm planning to buy this uh, pack of hundred and if you are interested to play with these tags along with my videos and also if you if you have already got the 38u or if you want to learn more about these tags probably now you can let me know and probably I can you know you can buy a few tags uh, from me because I don't need 100 tags you know it's too much probably now I'll keep uh, 10 and the rest probably you can you can buy off from me and I don't want to get this you know, call a couple of years from now so this will be I'll keep these cards uh, till 31st of uh, July and after that anything left over I will just uh, put on eBay or uh, some other you know uh, site where I can dispose of okay so with this we're going to see you now we're going to have a very interesting uh, video on this now if you have seen my earlier videos on ACR39U and this is what the the product page is in fact I've used this device for more than a year and I've used this you know in doing uh, some software project using the contact cards so it's very common you know for the buyers so if you, if you look at the ACR 38U and ACR 39U so the first thing that comes in our mind is this you know should be a, a newer version and this will obviously you know we think this is going to have more features than the ACR 38U so in fact what I noticed okay it's not uh, it's not like that if you look at the features of this ACR39U you can see the list of uh, the contact tags it can read and write so it has it can read the atmel tags and some of these tags and you know, I don't know this uh, about these tags some of the tags from SLE and Infion and SLE 4432 and so on if you go to this ACR38U I1 in you know, it's the the white device and if you look at the the features so this can read a lot more tax than 39U and the reason I I purchased this device is to try out these uh, tax now so here you can see ATSC 101, 102 
and uh, 1003 and also ATSC 153. Now these are also a kind of a, a I2C a memory cards very similar to the AT but this has got a password and authentication. So if you are looking at uh, to do a project um, that requires the authentication and this has got more features than you know a simple authentication. Now I have gone through this uh, documentation of uh, data sheets of these tags so they are really interesting you know to learn and use and so I would say this is um, the secure version of the I2C memories you know which you have seen here. So it is for this reason so I have purchased a few ACR38U and I1. You have to be careful with this product name. You have to buy the I1. And there are similar products. Say for example, I've got here uh, ACR38U H1. Uh, I've not purchased this yet. And if you look at the features, you know this also has got more or less, you know, very similar features of ACR38U. Um, UI1 but I'm not very sure what's the how this is different from you know other than this uh, look and fail I don't know what difference this is so you can also buy the ACR38U N1 so this you know it's available in plenty on internet if you compare the features so this can also read the AT88SC101 so probably now so these these 38 u series can do everything the 39 u can do so that's what it looks like you know when you go through this uh, feature list so i also used one more uh, device that acr 1281u c1 now this is a dual interface it can read both contactless and contact and I have recently made a video on this one. If you look at the features, so even this, if you look at the, the contact features here, the contact uh, card features, so there's not much in our explained here. Let's go into the technical specification. So there's not much that is mentioned here. So I think, so we have seen this device in my previous video I've shown this device can read the i2c uh, atmel memory cards and sle series cards so in order to know whether this device can read the 8088 series you have to look into the technical specification here sorry the download and you have to go to this api so probably now later in the video i'm going to say what this is now this is the the reference or api reference for ACR 38 if you look at the contents you can see that you can you can see that you know we can read the atmel 153 1608 and uh, 101 102 and uh, 1003 tax as well so I'll be interested in, uh, in knowing how to use these type of tax using this uh, 38u but I'd, I'm not sure whether uh, you can read the 39 in 39u even though it's not mentioned here but i'm going to try it you know whether there is any hidden feature and i'll let you know in my next video now this is the documentation of acr 39 series so here if you look at the content you cannot say the 8088 series of memory cards so I have just downloaded the, the technical specification or the APA documentation of ACR1281U. So even though you don't see any mention about the secure Atmel memory tags, if you look at this uh, documentation here, the APA documentation, so you can you can see that even this device can read 153, 1608, and I'm not very really sure why this is uh, after this. So even 101, 102. And so I'm going to buy ATS 
8088SC102. The difference between 102, 101 is the, the amount of memory you got. This is a 2 kilobit memory. And I, I think difference between this and 153.1608, probably it's all about different memory structure, I would, I would say. Now, I'm still not very sure about this, but we are going to learn everything about these uh, attacks in the future videos. So, as I mentioned before, so if you are, if you're really interested to know more about these tags and and you want to follow uh, with my video and and same time you know work with the tags you can always okay uh, ping me uh, you know just put a, a message in the YouTube so I will you know contact you and uh, probably can we can all uh, share this uh, tags so you can see here I've connected my ACR38U i1 device to my PC and the first thing you know we always do is make sure it is recognized by the Windows uh, operating system and you are able to see an entry in the smart card reader section if you go to the device manager now if you have seen the other devices say for example ACR39U so when I connect that device I can see an entry here that says ACR39U but however when I connect this one, I somehow just just could not get to see ACR38U device uh, device here. I tried right clicking and you know try to give the update driver, and Windows says you we already have the latest driver. So so that's what you have to make you know keep this in mind. So you don't have to worry about uh, these things. To be honest, they they do still work. So this is the software we have been using in all my videos on the contact cards and the first thing you do is identify the connector readers and this uses a, a, a PCC uh, uh, commands now I'm going to insert the, the very first thing is SLE the 5542 so I'm not going to go you know I'm not going to show you about SLE 5542 because uh, th in the, using the same software I've explained so many times but what I have noticed in this in this uh, device is after you insert any card it takes some time if you can see you know the lights it's still flashing so it takes some time to initialize and recognize and you know, it doesn't happen with the uh, uh, 39U so you have to keep this in mind now if you try to connect if you get in a yeah so if you try to connect in a much earlier you might sometimes say the connection uh, failure so I don't know why it behaves like that probably it is how the device works so this is the screen we have seen so many times so you select the card and you get the ATR is fine and read the entire tag that's fine you can see all the commands and that have been sent and after that we have seen this before you can just you know read and write so I'm going to uh, say ACR38U um, I1 I1 is awesome oh, I can't put more than 16 characters okay and write now write is okay so you don't have to make any changes um, for the program if you already done coding for that 39u the same program works with 38u also and all these things are happening because the commands that are used by the device is the standard the PCC command and you see there's a good thing about using you know these type of devices so we, we don't have to worry about all the low level connections and uh, uh, speed and voltages you know just just connect it just send the commands what the documentation says you'll be able to read and write so likewise you know you can authenticate this is a new tag you can authenticate with the default uh, password now it's fine so everything works 
going to take this out and quickly show you that you know it also works with the 4428 and this is uh, the FM not necessarily so because we have swapped if you can see that in you know, other the light is still blinking let's try to give a connect now you know it is an error nothing nothing came here but I can see this error message in the footer of the screen now while this flashing is going on so somehow the the PCSC the connect command fails now I'm, I don't have any clue about why it is happening now you have to wait yeah so when this flashing stops so you can see that you know it's uh, you got the screen so we have seen this uh, screen before in my earlier videos if you say authenticate it works read now this tag you know is again interesting tag every byte has got a, a lock bit now I'm not going to do anything in locking here so to write clear it now just give a write command so write now write is successful and that's all okay we have seen that E1 SLE 4428 also works with the uh, this device next I'm going to try with the Atmel I2C memory cards and in fact this also okay I think flashing is not that much compared to the other tags connect yeah so the connection failed probably we have to wait for the flashing to to stop okay now it was uh, it was actually uh, my error I did not insert this card in a uh, properly so you can see it's still flashing I've tried to connect during that time it doesn't recognize yeah so this is this we have seen already in my previous videos so this is a 2k atmel memory you can read the tag and you can uh, we can change I'm going to put all a's right so the right is successful okay so the read and write are both successful here now i'm going to try the next the 64k can see here the is flashing and if you try to connect during that time it doesn't connect so the flashing has stopped now you can connect and choose the 64k select and you can you know read and write so you know you can read and write in it works so what you have seen in this video is uh, we are compared ACR38U with uh, 39 and um, ACR1281U. So, if you want to read and write to the new tax like 8088 SC series, looks like you have to buy the ACR38U or you know ACR1281U and not uh, 39U. All right, thanks for watching. And as I mentioned before, so if you're interested to have a few tags, please let me know. Thank you.